Okay, I've been meaning to find a way to read textbooks in a more engaging way because I am so bad at reading textbooks. And I think I've finally found the solution with ChatGPT, so I wanted to share. Basically, I was really advantageous with how many textbooks I wanted to read on my surgery rotation and I read like half of one of them maybe and I'm not sure how much of it I retained so basically this time around I am switching things up. I've been telling myself I really want to uh, read first aid step two um, and it just hasn't happened <laughs> so this is my like big step into doing that and I'm using ChatGPT for it, so I just wanted to show you um, how I'm planning on doing it and how I've already started doing it. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, this is gonna be like a very low budget video, so I'm just holding my phone instead of screen recording. But basically, you're gonna wanna get a like PDF copy of your textbook or just a textbook in general, it doesn't matter. And you do ultimately have to read the textbook, but um, one change that I'm like making is I'm trying to do like very minimal notes and like just the important stuff. So basically I'll read a section. It doesn't have to be a whole chapter because honestly that's very long <laughs> and I can usually do like five pages ish and then I'll go ahead and put make a Excel, Excel spreadsheet and just put like what I would normally find on maybe the front of a flashcard and then what I would find on the back of a flashcard. So like the question and the answer or just like common causes of sinus bradycardia and then like all the common causes basically. And then I also like to include like these diagrams now that Google Sheets has this like pop-up function, which I find super helpful because I'm like a very visual learner, but not everyone has to do that. And also this is not really relevant to like the chat GPT section. I just like overall having this like spreadsheet as a study guide later on will be helpful um, just so I can look back on it. But yeah, that's not as relevant. And I also like to include like the little mnemonics to remind myself of, you know, what things to remember and like how to remember them. But yeah, so this is basically like a little snippet of what the ch like what the past few pages were about and you can see like I kind of go over like the topic and then like what I'm asking from the question like oh what is like if you have peripheral edema like what could that mean and then this is like all the possible meanings of that and this is all straight out of like the first aid step two book that I've been reading and then once I like finish my section of reading I'm just gonna copy paste like the two columns like all the ones that I want to include and then I'll go to ChatGPT and let's go to the top. And I literally just paste that, those, whatever I just copied, I paste into ChatGPT. Eh, you don't need plus for this. You, uh, you just paste it into ChatGPT. And then at the end of this message, I say, can you make clinical style vignettes based on this two column data set? And basically, it starts spewing like it started spewing out like a bunch of different like vignettes with the answer at the top and then like I was like whoa 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 hold up like <laughs> just give me them one by one and then also don't tell me the answer and like let me guess before you tell me so it's more engaging for you instead of just like reading a bunch of vignettes and so this first one I realized that it was still giving me the answer like afterwards but I like just read this and I was like okay so Basically, you just answer, you read it, answer, and then it tells you like, oh, you were correct or you weren't correct. And then in order to get it to like not actually give you the answer, I just said, don't tell me what the answer is at the top of the vignette. Just give me the vignette. And it starts giving you the vignette. And yeah, this is a great way of just finding like or just creating like you world style questions um, based on the topics that you read, because that is ultimately what engages me the most like question style like you can do this for like non-clinical stuff as well you can do this for like non-clinical stuff as well you can just like take notes on whatever you're reading at the moment and then copy paste those notes into chat gpt and say hey can you ask me a few questions to test my understanding on this topic and just go from there um that will really help like lock in um the topics that you've read instead of just like passively reading them so you have like the first pass of taking notes 
on the topics that you're reading. And then the second pass would be doing the questions. And then you can even do a third pass, which is just like reading the spreadsheet that you've created every day, which is just like a summarized version of the textbook that you're reading. And when I say pass, it's just like the, the number of times that you've seen the material. We, we use this a lot in medicine, so I realize this might not be for people that aren't in medicine, but yeah, so that's kind of like where I'm at in terms of how I'm gonna be reading this because I've honestly been studying with like Jesse U World and Anki and I feel like I'm not really learning a lot. Like I'm just testing myself and getting a lot of stuff wrong and then just testing myself and getting a lot of stuff wrong. Whereas I, I am someone that kind of needs a little bit more context. So I'm gonna start doing this and then U World and then maybe add in some Anki as I go, but I don't know, I'm kind of giving up on Anki, we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is this is my like new method and um, hopefully that helps. I definitely have a lot of random study ideas for you. So stick around um, if you want more of them, I'm happy to share. My brain is always trying to think of ways to study instead of actually studying, so we're chock full of study methods um and yeah thanks sorry this was such a low budget video i literally have no time on rotation so yeah but anyways thanks for watching